752 on Channel 95.7. It's County and Curtis. 22 degrees feels like temperature. 22 degrees. Woo-hoo. Love when that happens. 33 the high today. Sun's coming up a little bit. We got no wind downtown. I am loving it. Our $500 Meyer Christmas shopping spree. Uh, we'll get you in the running for that at 930. Be Don't re- forget. 500 bucks. You uh, run through Meyer. You don't have to run. It's not a. Uh, it's not one of those shopping oh, it's sprees. Not time. <laughs> Dude, you just get the 500 bucks and you just go and you do it and you are all set. 930 is your next chance to get set. You know what that. I read this morning that super surprised me? What? You know, we talk about food all the time. And we oh, my love, gosh. like, restaurants and fast food and Taco I like Bell. Food. I love food. Do you know that you have to have a net worth of at least one and a half million bucks to open a Taco Bell franchise? <sighs> Whoa. I did. Did you know that? I did know that. I didn't know that. You have to. Uh, how did I know that? Because I wanted to. I thought about opening another restaurant. And okay. didn't really think about, like, I'm going to do it. But it was a, we should open one of these restaurants. Mm-hmm. And we went online. And you had to have like $3 million to do that. And I was telling someone, Crazy. and they said, well, Taco Bell's only a million. I was like, well, doesn't help me, but good to know. <laughs> a million and a half bucks. That's all you need. If I had a million and a half bucks, I wouldn't want to open a Taco you Bell. You wouldn't? It's free Taco no, Bell. No, I would be doing something right if I had a million and a half bucks. I would just continue doing what I'm doing. But you would get, think of all the money you would get. Mm-hmm. Unless you like the Taco Bell by my house that closes at 6 p.m. every <laughs> night uh, for some reason. Doesn't want any nighttime That's the uh, worst. business. It is the worst, Nick. They're closed at 6. Yeah, I had one by myself in college. That's when I need it. Exactly. Wait, they don't really close at 6. I do don't they? know when they it, close. It seems like it's like 9 o'clock or something, and it's like I'm way mm. up later than that. They're never open. Like, it's supposed to be fourth meal. I can't even get, like, right. third meal there some days. <laughs> like, dinner is not even available uh, at the one by my house. But yeah, if you had a million and a half bucks, what's better? You walk in, you got all the, uh, the free Taco Bell you can eat. I'm in. I mean, Not really to, free when you're the owner. I mean, needed to spot me about uh, <laughs> yeah. one point. You're robbing uh, from your own back pocket. Five million. Uh, one point five million. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we had to explain that to the kids because the kids want to know, like, hey, if you own a store, do you get all the stuff free? Or like the cupcake, we watch Cupcake Wars. Mm-hmm. Oh, do they just get to eat cupcakes? I said, well, they get to taste them, right. but you can't. Like, you're making them to sell. So right. you can't just eat all the things. Whatever that you're you eat is profit. Whatever right? you're eating, your profits, mm-hmm. and you can't do that. But if it was a Taco Bell, that's a risk I would take. A little gamble. I'd have parties there. If you could open up any fast food place, what would it be? Any fast food place. What would I would have said Subway years ago, but then a friend of mine owned one. Yeah, she like owned bread. a few, and apparently they're really Does that mean she has millions bossy. of dollars in net worth? <clears throat> I don't know, maybe. Must be. Mm-hmm. Woohoo! Fancy. She had three of them. Three? She had three of them, yeah. So, yeah, I would go Taco Bell, I think. You would go Taco Bell? Yeah, you got those Doritos Locos Tacos. Those are great. You got the, the new wraps where they wrap them up like little taco egg rolls. We made nachos last night. <sighs> I know. Speaking of Mexican food. Yeah. Oh, you had it so every day. Good. Oh. You could have it every day, Nick? I think I've had Mexican food every day this week. Why? I don't know. Like from different places? Yeah, just different things we've made. Oh, okay. Mexican food is the new American food. Mm-hmm. Like anytime there's a potluck or anything, it's 90% Mexican yeah. food. Yeah. And I don't know why or when that happened, but you go. But I love it. I love it too. Like, yeah. hey, I have taco dip. Hey, I made this. It's mm-hmm. chips and salsa. We have this. Is it just because it's easy or is it because it's so delicious? Or yes? I think it's because it's so. Yeah, well, both. <laughs> it's both. But it's e- delicious, I would go with. Yeah. Mm hmm. <sighs> I just bought one of the things I bought at uh, your uncle's Pampered Chef party was a salsa maker. And? I haven't used it yet. Come on. Remember I told you I put it down in the basement until everybody <laughs> left. <laughs> right. Because I had enough going on in the kitchen. So I have not pulled it out yet. When are you going to make us some salsa? Some Christmas know. salsa? Christmas. Christmas. Mm. Yeah. You've never had salsa till you've had completely fresh, like right in front of you making it salsa. And you're going to be able to do that yourself so whenever you want. Uh-huh. And then you're going to bring it into us and sell it for a dollar a bag. <laughs> sell it? Why am I going to sell it? Because you want to make dollars. Oh, no. I'll I'd just buy, bring it in. I'd buy a bag of your salsa for one dollar. Why am I going to put it in a bag? You don't have jars. <laughs> I don't? <laughs> no. It's a little Ziploc bag yeah, full of salsa. It's weird. Yeah, you're jar free. So then you, you That's use a, little a zip, strange to Ziploc me. bag. Here's your bag of salsa. Enjoy it. Mm. I'd pay a dollar for that. Your Maybe. uncle doesn't like cilantro, though. So he didn't put cilantro in his. Okay. Yeah. Your friend. You have a Fatal friend flaw. who doesn't like cilantro. I do have too. a friend who doesn't like cilantro. Yeah, I like cilantro. Yeah, it's okay. Jay went out with uh, tacos with me. Doesn't like cilantro. What, Jay? Come on. You don't? It doesn't make me feel good. I don't know. Like it it makes you sick? Yeah, like if I have too much of it. Because my old roommate made some homemade guacamole one time, and he put cilantro in it and almost got sick. 
It's disgusting. Were you Should drinking we... tequila yeah, at the time? No, no I'm kidding. underage. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jay. All the Corotas. <laughs> <laughs> this cilantro is making me throw up. Oh, I hate it. Also, I can't walk straight. <laughs> I don't understand anything. Cilantro is a kiss of death. <laughs> this cilantro is nuts. <laughs> wow. Oh, this cilantro <laughs> tastes like tequila. <laughs> so you weren't drinking because you're underage. No, exactly. So you're just eating some guacamole. Yeah. Have you never tasted alcohol? I mean, I have, but okay. it doesn't, it's not that, I don't know. I don't like cilantro. It's nasty. Okay. Wait, no, I'm talking about alcohol. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we can sidetracked. You, we can make you a, a cilantro-flavored drink. Oh, don't have, do that. Haven't you had that? There yes. is a, ugh. That's okay. nasty. Yeah, that was a little too much for me. You drop it into like a margarita sometimes. Yeah. It's real good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't mind cilantro. I'm underage. <laughs> yeah. I love hey, Jay. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, officer. Keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> is what she, uh, Connie and Curtis. Connie and-